Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Abby, and today I'm filming a video I really wished I didn't have to film. Um, if you've been following my channel for a while or my Instagram, you will know that I recently bought a philodendron mamai. Um, and I, I've just come into bad luck with it. I, there's nothing really else to say other than this plant seems to have a lot of problems. Um, so I did, as a disclaimer, I did get this um, half price. It was two two five, um, or almost half price. It was two two five down to two ten, um, and I could see when I bought it, and I'll put a picture on the screen. There were yellow um, tips on some of the leaves which was totally fine. I inspected it to the best of my ability. Um, and I think I was just so happy finding it. Um, it was like the most expensive plant I've ever bought. Um, and I, as explained in the previous video, I always like when I move plants on, I put the money I get from that into a plant fund and it, do you know what I mean? Now, it was an exciting day. Like, I bought loads of plants that day. It was an exciting time. I was, like, over the moon. Couldn't stop smiling. Um, and then when I bought it home, I discovered some of the other plants in that particular um, hall, that shop that I did, had mealybugs and um, spider mites. So I took a closer look at this one, thinking, this is the plant I need to ensure is healthy. On closer inspection, and I'll put videos on and everything, the plant had thrips. Um, I, I I genuinely couldn't believe it. I was really upset. I was like really gutted. Love the plant. Really gutted. Um, and then I reached out to the place where I bought it and they were so apologetic. Fully refunded me. Um, really, really apologetic, had a really nice long like 40 minute chat with them um, and just across the industry, I think he, he was just saying it just, these things can't be helped and I fully appreciate that. Um, so he said, you can throw it out or you can try and save it. Um, and his advice was to mix up the um, active ingredient in the um, treatment I'm using. So he didn't use Provonto. He said that they do preventative measures. So it has had like some sort of exposure to treatment. He didn't use Provonto. So I tried Provonto. Um, it's taken a real big decline since doing that first initial treatment. And now the new growth point, which was, um, it was coming out. Um, and there was probably about a centimeter and a half of like new growth point coming out new leaf and then i was watching it every day like you do um and then i noticed that started rotting and i was just like great um but not being too emotionally attached to it at this point because it was technically not paid for by me anymore like it was just a a, a a free plant essentially because it had these problems which were let's just be honest is a risk to everything else i have this is how things got out of hand with the um the first issue was like thrips i had last year um so i've been watching it and that new growth has just been rotting and rotting like deeper deeper down the stem it's only got one growth point as well so this is this is literally it um, and it is looking sadder, it's looking more yellow, um, which is, I assume, throat damage. Um, but yeah, today is the day where I'm going to um, see what I can do to save it. Um, I reached out to people on Instagram and I asked what they would do. Um, I had so many suggestions and a lot conflicting um, and appreciate it's my decision. Um, but I don't, I, I'm, I'm still none the wiser as to what I should do because essentially there's no right and wrong, I think. Um, someone said, don't touch it, just monitor it. I have been monitoring it for four days since I asked that question. It is progressing down the stem. So I know I want to chop. Um, and that was a really nice conversation with someone I've not spoken to on Instagram before. So I kind of like, you know, met someone through that, which was nice. Um, 
someone said cut above the node and then below the node and save the node and then try and like wet stick propagate it. Um, I'm not sure if we have the ability to do that, but I'll, I haven't taken a look at it today. I've been working, so we'll look at that together. Um, and other people said cut like the whole plant up and then make like however many leaves it's got five leaf like cuttings and then grow it that way the only benefit to that is more of the plant once it roots but i don't want to do that i think that's a bit um extreme it's it's a bit too extreme um so essentially my goal today is to cut the rot off stop the rot progressing let it callous over i'm doing this now because it's tuesday um, and we are moving all of our stuff into our house including the last bits which the last bits as a priority were the plants um just so there's they're left there for the least amount of time when we're not there so it doesn't get too cold um so i will be moving them over this sunday um so it's tuesday today so i think if i do this now it kind of gives it enough time i'm running out of time i've only recently just discovered this so this is obviously something i can't control um and it has to be done so we're going to check out the plant together i think at the same time i might treat it um again or inspect it for thrips again um but i do need to buy another another preventative treatment thing um, and the guy where i bought this suggested i should try bug clear um so i'm gonna order some of that and i might hold off treating it to try that just so i don't over treat it and cause it stress so let's go take a look at the plant okay so here is the plant and you can see this is really can you see how squashy and squishy and sad that is and i think i think the rot actually goes down to it's really hard to tell you know it's extremely hard to tell if it if i can save this node i personally don't get let this bit get you confused because that isn't rot i don't think you know it feels fine this bit feels squashy there so naturally if this oh look it's a little seep of water um, naturally, excuse my DIY hands, they're so bad. Um, I would naturally cut to here if it was just any other plant, but because it's like a um, an expensive plant, you kind of want to preserve the nodes where you can. But you can see it's not in good condition. This was growing out to here. It looked like it just never really allowed itself to open up, but it's it's completely rotten. So I think I might cut um, cut to here. You can see that's rotten there, it's brown. I might cut to here and see what it looks like. Um, or we go down in segments so I can make sure I'm not getting confused with the leaf and side being rotten compared to the actual growth point. So that's what we're going to do. Um, but other than that, it doesn't seem to... Let me take you closer. It doesn't seem like it's... Um, it's suffering from thrip, like live thrips anymore. Oh, what's that? Hopefully it's dead. <laughs> um, but yeah, luckily, like I said, I don't feel so stressed and anxious because of the cost of it. But it just doesn't look healthy, does it? So yeah, I need to have a look. I would normally, like I always tell people, because people see the YouTube video I did on thrips and I get loads of questions. How do you check for thrips? Just without being rude, watch the video. But I put a, I put a torch through it normally. And then on the other side, um, you can normally see them moving. Um, but identifying, oh, thrip damage is different but yeah i'm gonna have a really good look at that because my eyes are terrible and i don't know if there's something more sinister going on you'll have to excuse the sheer mess that's behind me because as i keep saying we're mid moving and it's just not possible to keep things tidy whilst you're moving um there's literally boxes everywhere so yeah i'm gonna start with this bit and cut that 
um, and I'll show you as I go along. Um, but in terms of this damage, it does look like it's like old thrip damage. Um, and it definitely wasn't there when I bought it. Otherwise, that would definitely put me off because we all know me. I hate thrips and I know what I'm looking for. You can see how like yellow it is this side. Um, I might grab a torch so I can show you through the other side. Okay, so um, I have my torch here. Um, can you see how? No, you can't. It's, it's extremely difficult to say. But what I would do when I'm looking for thrips is shine that through. And then I would, on the other side, it kind of brightens the leaf up a bit and then you have the ability to see these little pesties crawling. Um, that's what I do. Um, every now and then at night time, I literally just take my torch across all plants and just do this. It's actually quite fun because it's almost like you're looking for gold, but you really don't want to find anything. Um, so yeah, I do that and you kind of look on the other side when you see something like, I can see something um, here that looks like a little dot. Um, again, you're not going to be able to see it, but I think, oh, that looks like a size of a thrip. If it was moving, obviously it would be legit. I would look on the other side and see, oh, it's not, it's that dead one that I was just showing you before. Um, but also you can just do on the other side, like this actual side, you can just look straight on the side that your torch is shining. Um, but yeah, this is our focal point at the moment. Okay, so you can see I've just made that cut and if it will focus, it's completely rotten. You see, that's not looking good. And it's still in there. That's such a sad, sad sight. So like I said, I'm gonna cut further down. I'm gonna to cut to, I'm gonna to cut to about here next um, and I'll give you a little update. So the next cut has given me no rot, but a little bit of rot here, you see? A little bit there. And then a teeny tiny bit in there still. Um, you see, just there. And rot can spread really quickly. So I'm going to go further down. I'm going to go to here. Um, I think that brown bit that I'm seeing inside is literally just from that. But I'm going to go further down to here and see um, if that's any better. Okay, so the good news is there's no more rot when I cut further down. I haven't um, gone too far down, like to the node. Like, do you remember me saying I think it's down here? It's soft here, but that's not rot. So that seems fine. I might now, mm, I feel like I want to cut here or wherever, I would always give more. So I'd probably here and have that as a separate node experiment. And then a new growth point will eventually come from here, which I know is healthy. That's what I'm thinking. What would you guys do? I wish you were here. Can you also, can I just point out, you can see how this is now going brown. I'll stop putting my fingers in the way. Um, you see how that is turning like a brown tinge? It's really helpful to take a photograph as soon as you cut a plant because if that um, was left, you can see it's progressively getting browner. Um, if you left that for five, 10 minutes, you'd come back and think, oh, like the rot is actually a lot further along than I thought. And it's not, it's literally just, in the process of callousing over. Um, so yeah, it's not to be confused with rot. So I personally take photographs or video in this case of what it looks like as soon as I cut it, just so I have a reference point and my, my memory's not being like, oh, sugar, should I have cut even more? Right, so I took to Instagram to ask um, people what they would do. Um, and I also asked my friend Lily. Um, I think my my thinking behind this now is, here's the plant. If I cut here, then I can try and um, root this, which I'm okay with rooting. It's when it gets to like an actual leaf that I'm, I find the transition from it being a, a wet stick to becoming an established plant, I find that a bit more challenging. So if I cut here, I have a chance of having another growth point and another plant. 
um, if I leave it, it grows from here, which is fine. But if I cut it, it grows from here again, which I get the same result. It will still grow. The plant will still grow. The only difference is I've taken off some length, which in all honesty is quite ideal because it's quite a lengthy plant. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut here and then experiment with this. The thing is, um, there's not much to play with on this side because the rot obviously went right down. I normally cut like here, so you can see I have all of this. The reason I do that is because I do propagate my wet sticks in water. This is just rotten. I don't want to put it through that. So if you do cut further down where than where you need to, like I could take it right back to here, and um, obviously not near the um, near the node and the bud. Um, so obviously I would choose that wisely, but I could cut here. And then if it does start rotting at the ends, which they can do, you just cut the rot off and you've got more to save it with. Um, so I'm gonna make a cut and um, I just need to, yeah, I can hit, feel the bud. Is it the ancillary bud? I forget what it's called. I can feel it as a lump there. So it's just there. So I'm gonna cut here. I'm gonna put my fingers there to make sure. Here we go. Ah. Okay, so that's the wet stick. That is my chunky wet stick. And, oh, it smells like, you know, flowers. You know, when you cut flowers, when you've um, been, when you've been sent flowers, it sounds like I get sent flowers all the time. You know, when you cut flowers, it smells like that. It smells really lovely. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna let that callus over and then I need to look into how I'm going to root it, which is just literally what I said I didn't need right now, but you know, it's, there's no harm in trying. So yeah, that seemed to have worked fine. And then I'm probably gonna take it to the shower and treat it again. Um, I've had to put like stones in the top of it, if you can see like all these stones because it was like really waiting over and it te it kind of looks a little bit dry. Um, so I might water it again. Yeah, those roots are dry, so I'm gonna water it again. Um, so when I treat things, I water it first in the shower. So I water it, the soil, then I treat it because you shouldn't use Provanto um, with dry soil. Um, so, that's our next job. So that's me all done. I have watered it to ensure the soil isn't dry. So when I come to treating it, it doesn't kind of like cause any issues to the roots. Um, and I've done another course of Provanto. Um, it's, pr it's probably been about 10 days since the first one. In my experience, I've never really had to do it twice. I've just watched out on it, but I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to miss it. Um, I didn't want to miss it not being, you know, resolved whilst I'm moving. Um, because obviously I'm going to have to, it's going to be touching other plants at some point as much as I don't want it to. And I'll try avoid that. There will be, they'll be in the car. Like I can't just like dedicate the back of the truck for this one plant when we have such short time. Um, so I'm just doing it as a preventative measure. I do think the thrips have gone. Um, but yeah, I'll keep everyone updated. It's going to be a while before I see anything on the um, the wet stick experiment that I'm now entering. Um, but if you guys want updates, just ask me for updates. I'm happy to kind of give you updates. Um, I do get asked a lot about what happened to this plant, like an update on this. And I'm always happy to share. Um, although one of them was a bit embarrassing. It was like, what happened to this Ikea plant that you bought? Um, and I was like, it literally died three days later. Um, so yeah, just ask me if you want any updates beforehand, but I will do another video in terms of how it's gone. Um, fingers crossed I have another little philodendron mammite to show you, um, but we'll see. I'm not putting too much pressure on myself because life is so busy at the moment and I would keep saying it, but I will 
I think some of you know why and <laughs> some of you don't and I don't know it's it's just crazy um but I will do another video um with a full update on this and yeah hopefully you enjoyed watching this and coming along with me and making these decisions about some of you were screaming at the screen like why did you do that and it felt right at the time and I'm still fine with it so if you would have done differently then maybe I'll take another different course next time but for this one it feels like it's this definitely the right decision but yeah fingers crossed it doesn't die on me and I've kind of resolved the rot problem I feel like I could have so hopefully you enjoyed give this video a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to subscribe to our Yorkshire Cottage Instagram as well um, if you're interested in following our cottage renovation um, we do have a YouTube channel but it's got no content on it at the moment because we've not done anything but um, if you are interested in that then I'll link everything down below and I'll speak to you guys soon bye